must be a, a very special episode. Regular viewers will have noticed. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to episode 19 of Between the Lines and what is as promised in the last video a very special episode. Regular viewers will have noticed a few clues, um, some asked some questions and by now those that emailed will have been informed of, uh, of the news I'm about to tell you. But for the rest of the world um, it's announcement time. Our first ever frame set, the award winning palace has been refined, revised and reborn. So welcome to the palace R. Before we get into the details, kind of a little bit of a backstory. As we've said before, we're always developing stuff here at Bowman. And what do we actually mean by that? Well, once the first Palace frame was out in the wide world, you begin to get feedback. Primarily it was great, but as with everything, um, there are improvements that um, that could be made. Some of these happened as rolling changes. We changed the, the, the gear hanger geometry and we improved rear wheel access when running larger rubber. As time went on, um, some of the improvements we wanted to make, it, it meant it was time to start thinking about the Palace 2.0. We asked people who bought bikes for feedback, um, had some ideas of our own and learnt as we've gone along. Um, we asked people who bought bikes for feedback, ideas of our, had ideas of our own and learnt as we've gone along um, to end up where we are today the launch of our first ever second generation frame. We sent the first napkin sketches to Taiwan around 14 months ago. Spent the next four or five months refining those ideas, kind of in a virtual world. And then they sent us our first generation prototype. Um, so we got that back, built it up and tested it in the real world. It was definitely a fast turnaround test mule, just primarily to make sure the geometry was right and the tubes offered the ride for we wanted. And from there we did a bunch of revisions and focused on, on, on the small details. This was, this the drawings for these detail changes were signed off in July when we had the second generation prototypes built. It was actually these prototypes that regular viewers of these videos will have seen, seen when we did our Taiwanese dispatches. That was kind of four days of serious testing, finalizing cable routing and the graphics fitment. As well as having some great fun while we were out there doing late night uh, typhoon, yeah, I guess late night typhoon beating downhill fork testing. In late September, we signed off those drawings and effectively pushed the button, um, and the palace was reborn. The palace R. Everything that made the palace such a great bike um, to ride has been kept, but everything we could improve, we have. Well, what what does that mean? It's got the same great geometry, it's lighter, the ride comfort's improved, weight's reduced, I've said that, and we've thrown in some DI2 compatibility for good measure. And this here, let me zoom out, this here is that first prototype. The two frames we tested in Taiwan in September are currently being painted and having full production graphics package applied. They'll be around with us in around two or three weeks so we can sh show those off in all their glory then. But for now, I'm going to grab this camera and show you a few details from this first generation prototype. The head tube, we've gone from a simple external taper with a single wall thickness to a multi-diameter with external tapers for improved weld contact area and variable wall thickness to reduce weight. The change stays were a simple tapered oval on the original, but are a far more complex form on the Palace R. Asymmetric in size, they morph from triangular at the BB to a squared up oval at the dropout. The seat stays are also a classy flat oval as opposed to the simple round stays on the original. Back back onto things you can't see on this first generation frame. The wall thicknesses are generally a little bit thinner throughout as tubing technology has improved in the three years since we signed off the first palace. The seat tube has gone from a 31 millimeter round tube to what we're calling a flare square design. Kind of a cross between some sailor's trousers and axe handle. Um, holds the BB really secure. The, this this off center profiling retains clearance for the front mech um, and the front mech is now brazed on clamp, preventing any ham-fisted mechanics from crushing the thin walls. The 27.2 seat post is retained for comfort thanks to the asymmetric chainstay shape. We've actually been, we've actually managed to maintain tyre clearance, whilst being able to fit a 
threaded BB. Originally we had a press fit BB give us the tyre clearance because you could mount the chainstays a little bit wider, but now with the asymmetric chainstay design we've actually managed to keep that same tyre clearance, which we're very, very happy about. Not only have we got a super reliable system in that BB, we've actually managed to reduce a little bit of weight by 10 grams in the BB shell. And talking of weight, this frame is up to, I think, what is it, 100, 150 grams lighter in some sizes. We've had 54s weigh somewhere between 1250 and 1310, 1320 on the original Palace. The 58 centimeter frame we weighed in Taiwan was 1160. Quite a big chunk of weight difference. Generally that's down to thinner thinner tubing walls with, with cable routing. Um, we've also done an update. We've gone from purely mechanical, external mechanical cable routing on the original to external mechanical cable routing, but with removable cable guides. So you can have a super clean DI2 install um, if that's what you want to do. So there you have it, the new Palace R. Uh, it's live on the website and available to pre-order. It's due to ship in late December. Um, and as with all our pre-order products, That'll be air freighted. Guarantee and pricing till those pre-orders ship. Obviously, recent political wranglings have seen the kind of currency market shift massively, and we can't guarantee that the pricing isn't going to move a little bit in the new year. But we have kept that pricing since we introduced it nearly two years ago. We're also offering a 10% discount to all pre-orders. Simply put Palace R in the discount code box at checkout. Pretty much, if you're pre-ordering, you're getting currency proof pricing, 10% off, and air freighted product. They'll be here a month earlier than the sea freighted stock. You're guaranteeing your order. I think that's pretty much it. Really, really excited about being able to launch our first second generation frame. It's it's a really big deal for us as a kind of a quite a new small company to be able to get this done in the time frame we have and for it to have ticked all the boxes we wanted it to tick. As always, if you've got any questions at all, you can ping us emails on info at bowman-cycles.com, drop them in the comments of the video, send us a message on Facebook or Instagram or any of our social media all those details are at the end of the video there's links in the description as well give it a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you want to know more and make sure you see the the full paint jobs when they come in two or three weeks time look forward to being able to tell you guys more about it so thanks for watching the video and we shall see you next time see you out there cheers Why can't I read? Try again. Why is that speeding up? What's wrong with it?